I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me. They abuse and berate me cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. How y'all doing, folks? Lord have mercy. I, 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 I was checking my, my comments on my videos this morning. And all of a sudden, here's a daggum landslide of comments saying, Leave my Idaho hillbilly alone. I love the Idaho hillbilly and Miss Kitty. Don't be picking on them. They're good people. And, and I'm going, what the hell is going on? Because I don't pick on Idaho hillbilly and Miss Kitty. They're good friends of mine. <laughs> and come to find out what had happened was I was talking to him on the phone and talking about how his views were doing, you know. And he says, well, not really good. Huh? He said, oh, I wish they were better. And I said, well, maybe I'll do a little less coffee chats and some more at Miss Kitty cooking because people sure do like Miss Kitty's cooking. Heck, people even ask me for more cooking shows. And uh, and I told him, I said, you know, people really like watching you make knives. You know, maybe that interests some people. You know, I know you get a lot of views on that kind of stuff. So, so he puts on a video this morning and says, doing it cheap says I need to quit doing coffee chats. I'm going, what the hell? <laughs> so, God at the people that sent me messages <laughs> and said, you leave my Idaho hillbill alone. I like him coffee chats. <laughs> and I do too. <laughs> oh Lord, I've known Idaho hillbilly since before he ever monetized a video. Uh, I had made a few videos back, like I think it's 2011. And then didn't do nothing for several years. Then I come to find out you could actually make a little bit of little bit of money on YouTube. So I I started making videos again, and uh, cause I'm retired, I ain't got nothing better to do. I figured I'd leave some stuff to my grandchildren. And uh, I was joking around one day in my earlier videos. I said, "Folks, I'm already up to a dollar and ten cents in YouTube revenue." For the month. Didn't think nothing about it, you know. Dollar and ten cent. <laughs> Idaho Hillbilly says, Well, Bob, you got me thinking. He says, You just started doing this, you already got you a dollar? He says, I ain't been doing it. I said, Well, you need to. And I, I explained to him how to do it and all that kind of stuff. And praise the Lord and pass the biscuits and gravy. He started making enough to pay his internet bill, and that's awesome. And uh, and uh, I'm fortunate I get enough to, to pay my utilities, which includes my internet bill. So I appreciate each and every one of you that's out there. But what I need for you to do, if you're an Idaho Hillbilly fan, and even if you're not, I need you to go check out this video of his. I'm going to put a link down in the description underneath this video after you get through watching it. And I'd really appreciate if you go there and leave him a message and let him know that doing it cheap sent you. It's a, say, doing it cheap sent me over here and subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. 
He's got like 13,000 subscribers, and I am blessed. I am blessed to have over 50,000 subscribers. And, uh, and uh, I was talking to him about how sometimes, you know, controversial things might get you some views. Because, Lord have mercy, if I express my opinion, or if anybody expresses their opinion about something, the internet blows up. You know, I could say, I think blue skies are pretty. And then you'd have somebody come in and say, well, I think the pink sunrise is prettier. What are you talking about, blue skies? Well, pink's pretty at the sunrise and the sunset. I'm going, God. <laughs> I'm serious, people. You can't express an opinion on the internet without stirring up a daggum hornet's nest. <laughs> Anyway, check out the Idaho Hillbilly, please. Tell him, tell him, please leave him a message. Blow up his mailbox, because y'all sure did blow up mine. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, that's what I wanted to say about the Idaho Hillbilly. Good people, good people. And that's one of the reasons why he don't have a lot of subscribers, is because he's just got a good, clean channel. You can show any of your children can watch their channel you, you ain't afraid to let your parents watch it your brother sister young it's anybody grandchildren because they are good people not like me lord have mercy i get off on a tangent and i get on a roll and shoo. anyhow <laughs> let's let me uh let me show you the part of the video where i show you how to do something cheap because that you know me i like doing it cheap all right, well, what I wanted to show you is these are technically sealed bearings. They, uh, you buy them and they say they're sealed, and they are. They're sealed just like that right there. They got that. They got that uh, rubber washer type thing in there. And the way you get that open is you can, you can reach in there with a, a little pick tool or, or, or pocket knife and the idea is you just want to dig on the, I'm trying to hold it right so you can see it just dig out there on the outside and get that to start to come up and you want to do it on the outside because the inside it's got a nice soft, you can't tell it, but there's a real nice soft, flexible ring in there that helps seal on the inside. Whereas the outside, whereas the outside of this ring is more stiff. Okay? But you can, you can take these sealed bearings and I clean mine. And then I'm just going to pack grease in there. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to go crazy with it. You put too much grease, it, it can actually build up heat in a bearing. And I'm only going to grease this from one side because I know that once them things get working, that grease is going to be smeared all in there, all over the place. So. And that'll keep me from putting too much. So there we go. So all you got to do then is just snap that ring back in place with your fingers. Turn it over. Do the other side the same way. I'm gonna put a little bit in there just, just, just cause, just cause. What the heck? But they don't come. The brand new ones don't come with a lot of grease on them. These had come off the spindles on my riding lawnmower. Uh, I was able to buy these bearings, by the way. If you need bearings for your lawnmower, uh, riding lawnmower spindles, I found them at Tractor Supply for $4.95 or $4.98, four, you know, five bucks. Everybody else on, on the internet wanted 
10, 11, 12 and more dollars. And Tractor Supply had them for less than five bucks each. So that's where I recommend you get them. That's where I got mine. I ordered four of them. And then I decided what the heck. I'd just go ahead and see what these things are like. And I have actually... I have actually uh, cleaned and once I get done with this other one here, I will have cleaned and greased all four of them that I replaced. So there you go. Now we got now we ah, sorry about that. Now we got us a sealed bearing again, okay? And it's greased. So folks, like I say, give old Idaho Hillbilly Miss Kitty a shout. Please. Uh I got I gotta get some payback. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I was shocked. Uh like and, and subscribe to them. They're trying their darndest to get to fifteen thousand subscribers because when they do they're gonna have a nice giveaway. And uh uh they're asking people to send them send them uh, postcards to their PO box and uh they'll they like to they like to show the postcards that people send and like I said, they're good. They're good people. Check them out. Well, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like